What is going on everybody? Welcome to this video. My name is Yusuf Hashim and behind me, yes, that is the same 2019 BMW 540i that I've shown on my channel. But today, I'm going to give you guys a list of modifications that I've done to the car. And yes, there's been major updates on the car. You guys haven't already go down hit the subscribe button like the video and comment what is your favorite modification that i've done to my car so let's start off with the most obvious modification the car has been wrapped in satin black before the car was alpine white from factory from bmw and i originally loved the white look on the car with the black accents and the carbon fiber accents that i have on the car but once i switched to all black man there's just no going back i just like how sleek the car looks it's all black just like a batmobile as we make our way around to the front of the vehicle, I do have a carbon fiber front lip installed on the car. The front lip was purchased from Extreme Dimensions, and I'd say the addition of the front lip made the car look just a little bit more, a little lower to the ground without even lowering the actual vehicle. It just gives it some more definition to the car, which I really personally like. Another modification that was done to the front of the vehicle were these two kidney grills. Originally, my car came with a silver kidney grill, but personally, when my car was white, I didn't like how there was a white and silver accents on my car so I was going for more of the white on black but definitely switch these out for a gloss black kidney grill and I think it looks way better and the flow of the car looks a lot better. So as we make our way around to the wheels of the car, my wheels were powder coated gloss black along with the brake calipers painted baby blue to match the BMW logo that is on the wheel center lock cap. I picked gloss black as a color because I'm going for the all black look. The next modification that was done to my car are these carbon fiber mirror caps. These carbon fiber mirror caps can be purchased off eBay or even Amazon or anywhere online but just make sure you do your research because some of them will advertise that they fit on your car but they really won't in reality which is what happened to me so it took me forever to install these in myself because they just wouldn't fit with everything so I had to make some minor adjustments to it to ensure that they ended up fitting on my car but once they were on ooh, it looked beautiful as we move around to the back of the vehicle I do have an OEM BMW matte black spoiler installed this was actually one of the first modifications that i did to the vehicle i think even before i powder coated the wheels i made a mistake buying this off the oem website because as you all know if it's oem the price just went up and i could have just gotten an aftermarket one maybe even carbon fiber for a cheaper price or even the same price and i could have gotten a bigger spoiler but i still like how it looks it's nice and sleek it's not too much and it's not too little at the same time it's a good balance between the two as we move along to the rear of the car we also have a carbon fiber rear diffuser that was purchased from rw carbon this addition was one of my favorites because instantly the car looked a lot more mean it just looks a lot more menacing on the road which is why the carbon fiber diffuser is one of my favorite modifications on the car another modification that was done to my vehicle was that the 540i badge was deleted off my vehicle when i wrapped the car satin black i just didn't like any metallic or any silver accents on my car now that that's removed it's all black with carbon fiber accents on it i'm sure some of you are wondering if this m performance side skirt decal was another modification that i did to the vehicle but this one actually came from factory when i purchased the vehicle it already had the m performance decal already on it Interior of my vehicle is absolutely stock. Nothing has done to the interior. Maybe down the road, you know, get a carbon fiber steering wheel, but I still don't think it's necessary. Um, that just might be a little too over the top if I did do this carbon fiber steering wheel, but interior is still looking in good shape. Move along to the, the rear passenger seat. Everything still stock in the back as well. You can also take a look at the inside. You can see how the original factory paint is Alpine white. And you can take a look over there in the inside of the car. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of my build. Do you guys agree with all the modifications that I've done? Or would you have done something a little bit more different? Maybe a different wrap, maybe a different spoiler. Let me know in the comment section. 
one thing I already see is that maybe I need a quad tip exhaust system. So maybe that's coming next, who knows? But make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you stay tuned with all the videos. I appreciate you guys for riding with me, watching the videos as always. And I will see you guys in the next Yusuf Hashim video.